Hey everybody, it's Harry from Sip and Eddie Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. You've seen my Keanu Reeves rib redo recipe where I cook a uh, St. Louis style rib in a pit barrel cooker. And I told you guys how I loved it and the ribs were absolutely phenomenal. So I want to extend my experience cooking on a pit barrel now to beef ribs. So I have here some beef back ribs. This is kind of like the baby back rib part of a cow together with some beef short rib which is kind of like the front spare rib part of a pig uh, but it's not a cow so in this episode i'm going to uh, season up these back ribs and the short rib we're going to cook it on a pit barrel by hanging it in the pit we're not going to foil it we're going to see the results are as good if not better than the st louis pork ribs that i cooked on the pbc recently <laughs> For a change in pace, I'm going to use uh, some orange wood to cook uh, in the pit barrel cooker. Uh, I've heard the orange wood has a great flavor. This is how it looks like. And uh, it's absolutely fabulous on ribs and chicken. So I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, as I mentioned before, we put always the wood underneath the coals. Before we add the coals, we put the wood in. Beans. We're going to use some food in a little bit, okay? I have not cooked the uh, food yet, so hang in there, okay? I have a leftover chunk of cherry here. I'll just leave it in here. I'm going to use uh, kind of like four chunks of orange citrus wood. That's how it looks like. Courtesy of uh, Patty Sharp from Sharp's Gourmet Cooking Wood in Orange County. So if you are looking for wood chunks like these and also cooking wood and firewood and heating wood, uh, go see Patty. I have a video uh, where Patty kind of gave us a rundown on all the different kinds of wood she carries and how to use them. This uh, Jealous Devil charcoal burns really well. It burns clean and hot and has a wonderful flavor and a phenomenal smoke ring. To ease your cleanup in the pit barrel cooker, I uh, usually leave a foil at the bottom so that it catches any kind of ash or the grease so that it's a lot easier to clean. It doesn't matter if it's a pit barrel or it's like a, like a drum like this one here, like a big papa drum. You're gonna have the issue of oil residue at the bottom of your pit. And if it sits there for too long, the oil tends to kind of get rancid and that's not really good for barbecue. So it's very important to keep your drum smokers at the bottom, especially free from oil and uh, using a foil aids in the cleanup. I'm gonna use uh, my new toy here. It's a grill gun and it was going to be available on Kickstarter uh, towards the end of the year. So I'm going to start it using the grill gun. This is super cool. We're ready to season the beef back rib here and the beef short rib. So this is a three bone beef short rib. We trim off the uh, fascia because uh, this is really hard. And if we put the rub on this thing, it's gonna fall off. So it will taste better if you trim off some of the hard silver skin or fascia here and uh, get the rub to touch the meat at the bottom. It's optional, but you know, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I think it tastes better because uh, if when this rub, when this fat melts off, the meat is not going to have any flavor because the rub fell off when the fat melted. Some of my Sabinetti First Place USA rub and uh, I leave the membrane on when I do ribs because uh, the membrane helps to hold the fat rib together. Just a nice even dusting. I'll slap your daddy beef rub on it. You can use a schmear if you want to put some uh, mustard on it just to help the rub stick. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna skip that step.
it looks like from the looks, I think that I'm going to wrap because uh, it looks like uh, it's gonna take a while to get tender and I don't want it to dry out. So we're gonna change techniques here. We're not gonna cook it just in the pit barrel. We're gonna wrap it in foil and then cook it covered. <laughs> are done uh, it's about 205 206 degrees nice and probe tender leave it here uh, good to go so here's the uh, beef rib cooked and uh, we we'll just add a little bit of uh, my sauce on it just a little tight touch of it so we have a beef short rib and a beef back rib a little bit of a slappy daddy sauce on it barrel cooker cooks really great beef ribs and uh, no doubt the color the mahogany finish is absolutely competition great uh, great beautiful smoke ring here and look at this beautiful color so the idea is that when I cook beef ribs it looks like uh, the technique has to be modified I need to wrap in foil and cook it longer because if I hang in any longer, it's pretty dried up already. So if I hang any longer, I'm not going to get the kind of a nice, the tender, moist uh, texture that I have here. These uh, back ribs are kind of thin and they don't usually have a lot of meat, but they're really, really good eating because the meat by the bone tastes really, really good. And uh, on a beef back rib, uh, also needed to foil. So all in all, the pit barrel cooker is a great beef rib cooker. Just need to make sure that uh, you have to wrap. So unlike the pork rib, I was able to cook it to tenderness without having to wrap on a beef rib. Slightly different technique, but both really work well. You want to try some ribs, Vince? Yeah. Just some ribs. Yeah. Good rib. Mm. Pass. Thumbs up, Beans. You like it? That's a pretty good rib, right? So there you have it, uh, Slap Your Daddy's uh, beef ribs, both the back rib and the short rib cooked on the pit barrel cooker. It's a pass on the beef rib and the modification of the technique is you've got to wrap it in foil so that it remains tender. So please like and subscribe and tell everybody about my channel. And again, thanks to all my Patreon uh, subscribers for helping me out and funding some of these projects on my channel. So until the next time, we will see ya.